Welcome back guys to Kyle's Crypto Alpha. So it is super late here and I'm really tired, but I wanna get this video out to you guys because I think it's important. The markets are bleeding right now, just hemorrhaging. And I think it's important that I come on and tell you what I'm thinking, also give you an update on my altcoin challenge and really to show you two really interesting and potentially massive upside NFT projects. If that sounds good to you guys, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're not already, and let's not waste any more time and get into it. And if you do have any doubt about crypto and Bitcoin, let me just smack the doubt right out of your face by showing you a story real quick. So this is Goldman Sachs is now getting into Bitcoin-backed loans. So I've been doing this for a long time using something like Nexo or Celsius to essentially put up my Bitcoin or other, other crypto assets as collateral, and I can take a loan out against that. Now, for someone like Goldman Sachs to be doing that is significant because this gives people an opportunity to buy Bitcoin and then actually kind of use it in a sense of kind of DeFi in a way where they can put up a Goldman Sachs and let's say they put $1,000 of Bitcoin, they could probably take $500 of stable coin or fiat or cash out of it and go use that for whatever, to either buy more Bitcoin and leverage in, or to go use it to, to pay their expenses for something, which I did in, in the bear market. Um, and so that's, this is really, really big news. Just going to show you that like this is here to stay. So if you're doubting Bitcoin whatsoever, please do not. It, is, it would be an incredible mistake to get scared of the market and get out now. It would just be horrible. So moving on. Uh, yeah, so guys, what's going on? Of course, the stock market is going down with um, Amazon, you know, going down a huge amount and, and, uh, and all the stocks just basically just plummeting. And, you know, if you look over here at the at the, the 24 hour uh, Wall Street, like not looking good uh, one week. Yeah, look at this, this spike, this fall off just here at the very, very end. Like that is not nice to see. Um, but that's essentially why we're going down. Uh, and well, like so I, I have been I have been you know, wading off on the altcoin challenge, not getting too crazy with it because I just, I, like I said in my video where, where I was telling you guys about the altcoin challenge was um, I was in a dollar cost average of things that I like because I, I told you that I, th I think the market was still gonna go down and it did. Um, and I still think the market potentially could go down. So I'm not going big in. Out of the $10,000 I told you guys I was gonna put in, I had only put in $2,000 and uh, I'm not doing so bad right now. Um, but I did buy something new today and I saw in the comments below to a couple of you guys asked me where to buy these coins. And so I will show you because we will go in there and we will buy today a bit more Colt Dow because Colt Dow is down a lot. And it's a re I think it's a really crazy buying opportunity at this number right here. And uh, personally, so even if it doesn't continue to go down, it, you know, even lower than this, we're just going to dollar cost average in, right? So even though if I, I wanted a thousand dollars of this, maybe I'm only going to go buy, you know, two hundred dollars today or something like that and uh, just in case it does go lower that i can go buy even more and then phantom well phantom was something that uh you know that i've been wanting for a long time or wishing that i would have got into but i just never did and it took off and like i never bought bags of it but now they're having some issues and if, you, if this story over here you can see here uh it basically says it's on, on reddit is in case you missed it the biggest whale on phantom roosh was about to get liquidated for $50 million in phantom collateralized loans, crashing the entire network. Dr. Liquid not notified LAFA from Deuce, and who emergency loan rushed the money to cover about uh, for about a week. Now that's significant because $50 million of phantom getting liquidated would cause cascading uh, li liquidations and, and price, um, you know, just really plummeting. And it started to do that. So you don't really need to see all of this uh, article because it just kind of shows you what's going on. But you can see this updates here. Um, where it says first partial liquidation chain happened, 11 million Phantom is sold, 48 million Phantom still uh, used for collateral. So that just basically means that uh, some of that $50 million of, of, uh, of tokens that he had was collateralized and we saw this big price drop um, from 85 to 79 cents. And what that means now is that if it goes even goes lower Phantom, we could see more liquidations and more price droppings. This could be a cascading effect, but uh, with Phantom at a with Phantom at an all time high of three dollars and forty six cents, and now it's sitting at only seventy three cents. I think it's a pretty good opportunity. So let me show you guys now how to go buy this. Right. So the best way to go buy anything, right? Anything that you want to buy, this is exactly how you do it. Right. So you just go to Coin Gecko or same thing. They have the same thing in Coin Market Cap. Right. And then you find the, the, co the coin that you want. So we can just go here to this, this search bar over here and we can just say, for example, 
phantom, right? And uh, phantom, there it is. We click on it. It's gonna load the screen and we'll get the same screen. And then we're gonna scroll down here uh, all the way down to the bottom where it says phantom markets. Now there's even more here. So if you don't see something that you wanna use in this list here, you can just click this button, it expands it, and you have everything. Well, I'm gonna buy it on a DEX and I don't see the DEX listed. So let's go and expand the trading pair, or the list, all the pairs here, and then go find, uh, I, wouldn't, I think earlier I bought it on Uniswap. I'd like to do the same thing. There we go, Uniswap V3. So you can just find the exchange that you want to, whether it's a DEX like Uniswap or MEXC, the centralized exchanges or whatever. But I'm just gonna go ahead, go ahead and use it, the DAX because it's super easy. We're gonna click this trading pair right here and it's gonna open another window. And I already have my altcoin challenge wallet connected to this thing. Uh, see that I just ends over here in C4E6. And so simply uh, right now it's asking you what do you wanna sell and what do you wanna buy? So I don't wanna sell Phantom, I want to sell, so I'll flip this over. Now, now it says that, now it would say that I want to sell my ETH for Phantom. But because we're doing this altcoin challenge in USDT, I will change it to USDT. So now I'll buy like let's buy another, let's buy another two hundred dollars worth of Phantom, uh, because again this could go down significantly. There you go. And uh, and if this is your first time using uh, Uniswap, it might ask you to approve uh, the token to, to to use, and that's fine. You would just have to approve it, and it's super easy. That, then after you approve it. Uh, you go to this thing, and then we, it tells us we're gonna get 275.39 Phantom for 200 USDT. Swap it, confirm the swap, and there you go. I'm just gonna go, this is gonna be my gas fee. I'm just gonna do it nice and high for right now. Confirm, there you go. And then you can also add Phantom to your MetaMask, just like that. Uh, click that button there, and you can see it's, I've got my Phantom in there, and we're just gonna add token. There you go, and that's how you uh, and that's how you buy a crypto on in the crypto, like any any of them. Um, I can go into more detail if you want, but that, that's if you have kind of a basic understanding of MetaMask and things like that, then that's all you kind of need to know. So next uh, is Cold DAO. So I'm not going to do it on the video just to spare you guys some time, but you can also buy it here, right? Swap. Um, sorry, sw so on on Dex tools, which I use all the time. Look at this poor cult, cult chart, uh, but that's okay because. When the price goes down of cult, that means more get more tokens, more actual tokens get burnt and uh, sent to treasury. So that's pretty cool. Um, well, actually, not sent to treasury, but burnt. Yes. Uh, okay. So now, so okay, let's just do it real quick. So let's say I want to buy. Um, so we can just go over here. So now again, I don't want to sell cult. I want to buy it. So let's we'll switch it over here, and then let's just do like I think I can do yeah USDT. So let's just do that, and let's go buy another two hundred dollars with a cult. There we go, and approve. Okay, so this one is gonna ask me to approve. Just like I said, you might have to do on the, on the on, on Uniswap. Okay, now this is approving. And then when it's finished, I'm not gonna see it, this will just say swap, and we go ahead and swap it. So I'm going, I'm going to buy that, but I'll come back to that. So guys, here's another uh, NFT project that could be the next Bored Ape Yacht Club. Uh, why do I say that? Well, because it has like, a, it has a very, familiar feeling and it's gained a tremendous amount of traction. So that is this moon, uh, uh, sorry, the, the um, OK Bears, guys, OK Bears, here we go. So look at this volume and it was just launched a, a couple days ago, a few days ago, and look at the art is quite similar as far as like style to Board of Yacht Club, right? Very, very similar. And I think what ignited a lot of the speculation was essentially that this guy over here Raj.Soul, who's the co-founder of Solana, has one as his profile picture. Now, I'm not sure how involved this guy Raj is, but if he's involved with this project or just wants it to succeed, like this guy has a tremendous amount of money. Like being the co-founder of Solana, this guy has his bank. And they want, you know, as the co-founder of Solana, they of course want a very popular NFT collection to be on Solana that would kind of put them, you know, say, hey, we, we now are gonna step up and match, you know, step into the world or step into the ring with Ethereum, right? They need a, a solidified blue chip to step into the NFT ring with Ethereum. So it would make sense to me that since Solana's market cap is like t tens of billions of dollars and they probably have a bunch of that in the treasury, they can just go pay some influencers, like some Hollywood celebrities to go put these things as their profile pictures. And that's what it takes, guys. That's what 
took, set the board Apes Yacht Club on fire. And that's what it would take for here too, is just for them just to go bring on a couple more, or bring some celebrities on, have them put up as their, P, as their profile pick. Next thing you know, boom, it's going crazy. So let's look at the marketplace for OK Bears. You can see that right now the, the floor price for them is 118 ETH. And so this one says 115 anyway, but yeah, it's like 3.6 or so ETH. Now imagine if you got in Board Ape Yacht Club at 3.6 ETH, that's about like, what is that, like, like, a, like a 40, 40 plus X from here. So I, I know it's like, it's, it's very speculative of course, and I haven't looked into too deep into OK Bears as far as what they're trying to achieve, but I know they've got an interesting story and uh, and some good backing already, obviously. And their community growth went absolutely insane, super, super fast. Um, they, it was it was like, I don't know, it exploded in one day. Uh, like absolutely crazy. So anyway, that's, uh, let's see. I'm just trying to look up, see if I can see it right now. Yeah, so they have, <sighs> 120,000 followers on Twitter. I'll follow them as well. I heard their Discord. Everything just, just exploded once this Raj guy uh, stepped into the project. So now, the next NFT. Oh, and I, I did buy, I did buy like six or something of these OK Bears because if it turns out to be like Board Ape Club, uh, I'm definitely glad I got it at three three ETH and not sixty or hundred ETH. So that's that, guys. The next one is uh, Moon Collective. So Moon Collective is interesting. Uh, there's only two thousand NFTs. And they were quite cheap. They were only 0 0.045 for the mint. They minted the I don't know I don't know when, but recently. And you can see that the the floor the floor price right now is only like just a little bit less than two x of the mint price. It's just because people don't really know about it. But because a lot of people buy NFTs just to get into the token gated communities. Like people will go buy you know spend a hundred thousand dollars on a cyber kong just so they can get into the group and get the alpha from the group. Now these guys. Uh, basically, they have tokens for uh, NFTs for Board Ape Yacht Club, Azuki, Anonymous, Moonbirds, Cool Cats, Hobbits, Carafru, Kaju, Zombia Club, and MVHQ. So basically what they're doing, this thing is, is using some sort of algorithm software to basically take all the alpha that's produced in those groups that have super high barrier to entry, and they're just aggregating it into their own Discord where you can get all this alpha from all these different communities for only owning one of these NFTs versus having to pay like, you know, $100,000 for something else. So I think it's going to do really well. I think it, time will tell to see how accurate their kind of aggregation software is, what they're pulling in. But um, like, what a good idea. So instead, instead of having to go buy only super expensive uh, things just for alpha, you can actually get it from Moon Collective. Um, it's, in my opinion, a very cheap floor price right now. Uh, pretty bullish. And last but not least, guys, I'm approved. I'm ready in like six or seven hours for the board Ape Yacht Club. But the other side, Mint. Looking forward to that, guys. Okay, that's it. I'm going to put this video up and go to bed because I got an early flight in the morning. But I bet you book it right after the board Ape Yacht Club Mint or the other side Mint so I can Mint and then hop on my flight, take a nap, and wake up back in Phuket. I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.